my YouTube channel. This is David Banner Lane, so that I'm boy oh, you can call me baby. it's in Mazan. So today we'll be handling tutorial sheet 2 of physics PH 511. This tutorial. Shit. Tutorial sheet 2. So question 1 says, a ball is run directly downward with an initial speed of 8.00 meters per second from a height of, of 30.0 meters. After what time interval does it strike the ground? So as we, as we know in physics, when we are given a question, we first look at the scenario, we put it in picture form. So we have a height, that's 30 meters, and then we are being told for a ball is being thrown with a speed of 8.0 meters per second. Then we're being taught after our time interval does it strike the ground. So now we look at our Sovat equations where the data has been given. So our data is velocity initial V0 is equal to 8.0. Then since it's going down, it's going to be negative. And then our y naught is going to be 30 and it's positive because it's 30 there. Then our y final is going to be 0. And this is even our change in y. And then other data that have been given. I think that's all for the data. So we look at our and then gravity also. G is equal to 9.8 meters per second. And when we take up as positive, this is going to be negative. So now we start, look at the equations that we have. So the equation that we have is V is equal to V naught plus GT. Um, and then this one will be out because we don't have our time. Um, whenever we are doing an equation, we have to make sure that we only have one unknown. Then when we look at our other equation, we have got V squared is equal to V naught squared plus 2G change in Y. This one can work out because we have our we have our V naught, we have our G and we have our change in Y. But then we don't have our final velocity. And look at the one last one as well. Y is equal to Y naught plus V naught T plus one over two G T squared. So now this one as well, it has time and we don't have time. So then we go back to this one. Then we look at the data that we've been given. We have the initial velocity, we have the g, we have the change in y. Then the if I know it's going to be zero because at the ground here, it's going to come to a stop. So now you can write down our equation, this one. So we have got v is equal to, um, v squared is equal to, v squared, I think let's not use this one and let's go to another one because what we're trying to find here is the time. So we saw this one doesn't have time, so it's out. This one has time and this one has time. We don't have the final velocity, but we have the initial velocity, we have the change in y as well. So we're going to stick to this one. So now this one, we have our y final being equal to zero. We have our initial y being equal to 30. Plus, we have our V naught being equal to negative 8 T. Then we have, uh, then now we're taking up as positive, so this will be negative. So we have negative 1 over 2, 9.8 T squared. So then now this is a quadratic equation. So we're going to have 0 is equal to 3 minus 8t minus um, this one here is going to be 4.9t squared. So then we arrange this in order. This is negative 4.9t 4, 4 squared um, minus 8t plus 8. And so we solve this with quadratic formula. 
So we have our t being equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And then we have our b. Our b is equal to, <coughs> this is from a, we have our a. Our a is equal to negative 4 from <coughs> time. Our b is equal to negative 8. And then our c will be equal to 30. Then we get our t. Our t is equal to, here is negative, so there it will be positive plus or minus square root. Our b is negative 8. Negative 8 to the power 2, that's 64. Um, we have minus 4. We have our a to be negative 4.9. We have our b, we have our c rather, to be 30 over 2. We have our a, our a is negative 4.9. So you can wrap, I think we can wrap this off. And we are going to use our calculator. Very big. 64 minus negative minus 4 times negative 4.9 times 30. So we're going to have 652. So the square root. So our t is going to be 8 plus minus the square root of 652 over 2 times negative 4 and that's 9. 8. So now we have our t will be equal to when we try with the positive, we are going to have First, let's find the square root. Let's find the square root first. Square root of 25.53. 8 plus or minus 25.53 over. This is negative. This is negative. Then we have our t being equal to, if we use the positive, we have 8 minus 20, 25.53 divided by negative 9.8. Then we have 1.79 seconds. Then when we use the positive, so initially use the negative. When we use the positive, we're going to have 8, 8 plus 2.53 divided by negative 9.8. We're going to have negative 3.42. So now we have two times, and then we're going to get this one because it makes sense. Time can never be negative. So the correct answer is this one. And that's all for question one.